Hi everyone, welcome to my Autodesk screencast. My name is Zan Ta and I work for Repro Products in Smyrna, Georgia. I'm an Autodesk certified instructor and hold many certifications in multiple Autodesk products for the AEC industry. I hope you enjoy my screencast. If you'd like to see more of my screencasts, please search for VAR 2015, that's V-A-R 2015, or my name. Please don't forget to give me a thumbs up after you watch it. In today's screencast, we'll be taking a look at Revit 2016 and phasing. If we go to the Manage tab of the ribbon, there is a panel called Phasing. If you click Phases, it'll bring up your phasing window. Here, you have three tabs, Project Phases, Phase Filters, and Graphic Overrides. In the Project Phases tab, you can list and create as many phases as you need, starting from the past to the future. You can insert one before or after the highlighted one. So for example, if I'm here and I've highlighted it, number two, I can click one before, and I can double click inside the name and call it whatever I want, say demolition. And I can put in whatever description that I want. This is for existing uh, pre-work info demolition. This is for demolition of existing content. And then new construction is all the new condition data. And hit apply, hit OK, and you've just created a whole bunch of phases. Now, you also have the ability to select phases and either combine them with the previous or the next. What that means is that if for some reason you need to delete the demolition phase, it's no longer part of the project, if you click, click combine with previous, all the information that has been um, specified as a demolition phase will move into the existing phase and that demolition phase will disappear. If you click Combine with Next, all the information that has been tagged as phasing demolition will move into the new construction and that demolition will disappear. Hit OK. When we're working with phasing, they are in the instance properties of the view. You scroll down, there's phasing at the bottom. <clears throat> you can specify what phase this particular view needs to be set at and what phase filters. If I go back to phases, there are phase filters. These phase filters are already set up for you. They say show complete, so on and so forth. And depending on what you want to see and don't see, will determine how the visibility is set up for each of the conditions, for example, a new existing demo. So if I say uh, show demo and new, then new information will show up by category. Existing will not be displayed at all. <clears throat> Demolition has an override to it, and temporary data has, been, has an override to it. If we go to the graphics tab, graphics override tabs, this tab describes what the each of these fields where it says overridden stands for. <clears throat> so I can go in here and I can see existing, demolished, new, temporary. So for example, here under demolished, we see that it has a line weight of one, a color of black, and a pattern of uh, demolished 3 16th of an inch. And so each one has its own set of conditions. When we work with objects in Revit for phasing purposes. <clears throat> Annotation type objects can not have phasing. So if you were to do a window selection of say this, you're grabbing everything, all 3D model objects and 2D model objects, and you'll notice that the instance property doesn't give you the data you need to change the phasing condition. If we click filters, we can say let's let's check everything except the elevation marker information and views. Hit OK. <clears throat> and if, again, if we look at the instance property, we can see that there's information we've grabbed that cannot have phasing. So we need to go back and click see grids. Okay. So now we have everything that we need 3D model-wise that we can change the phasing for. So for example, <clears throat> we can say existing phase. And once you've done this, that information will show up accordingly. And as you can see, it's very, very light gray. <coughs> Lastly, if I go to the Modify tab of the ribbon, Geometry panel, there is a button for Demolish. If I click this and I select objects, you'll see they'll get quote unquote demolished. What's happening is that that object is being changed, it's phasing, and it's being demolished under that existing phase. Okay? And that's it, that's phasing in Revit 2016. Thanks for watching my screencast, and please don't forget to give me a thumbs up.